Got a craving for a good mystery but don't feel like picking up a book? Then look no further, because the Warner Brothers adaptation of Sherlock Holmes will fill that void. The movie weaves together the perfect balance of action, suspense, mystery, and even comedy. In terms of the story, the movie immediately throws action right in front of us. Holmes and Watson find a strange ritual being performed by the movie's villain, Lord Blackwood. Take a few seconds to laugh at his name like I did. The main case Holmes and Watson find themselves in involves trying to prove that Blackwood's witchcraft is all a giant hoax. Robert Downey Jr. takes on the role of Sherlock Holmes. Despite his somewhat unclean appearance, Holmes shows his brilliance by being able to deduce a person's life story just by looking at tiny details, such as facial features, clothing, and even jewelry. And what's Sherlock Holmes without his trusty sidekick Watson? This Watson could have been the main character in my opinion. For starters, this Dr. Watson proves that he was able to kick ass, hold his own ground, and even ends up saving Holmes a few times. Preposterous, you say? Well, maybe Watson would have been different if he wasn't played by Jude Law. The supporting cast was excellent. Rachel McAdams plays the beautiful Irene Adler, who is sort of a love interest to Sherlock Holmes. She's cunning, dangerous, and eventually aids Holmes and Watson in the capture of Lord Blackwood. As a villain, Lord Blackwood, played by Mark Strong, is everything you'd want a villain to be. He starts off as a mysterious figure, black cloak and all, but by the end of the movie, you think of him as an inhuman being with the powers of black magic. However, David Garrick's character, McMurdo, wins my award for best villain in the movie. The giant McMurdo only has a few appearances, but Holmes and Watson have the toughest time bringing this giant down. One detail in the movie that really impressed me was the way that Holmes would calculate how to win some fights. He would go through the whole process describing where exactly to hit, what the effect would be, and the percentage of damage it would do. Kinda like the fighting system in Fallout 3. On the topic of slow motion, however, I felt as though there was too much in the movie. You see it when Holmes is plotting an attack, you see it when something explodes, you see it when someone is dying, and I often wondered to myself if the movie would have been shorter had it not been for all the slow-mo. Overall, Sherlock Holmes is anything but your typical detective movie. Guys will enjoy the action in each fight scene for the ladies. Madam, I need you to remain calm, and trust me, I'm a professional. But beneath this pillow lies the key to my release. Okay, I'm sure the ladies will enjoy the action too, and for you guys, there's nothing wrong if you enjoyed that clip as well. In terms of the plot itself, it makes for a great suspense story, and even if you don't want to deduce the clues, you'll discover the truth to everything eventually. Although I'm sure it'll just be elementary, my dear Watson. And now back to the rest of the quad.